This afternoon I decided to pull the computer out of my truck. It's a 92F150. The reason I pulled it out is because it uh, low RPM, low speed. There's a uh, bucking and that it likes to do, and it's been getting worse over time, and it's actually getting quite infuriating now. So I finally brought me to the point of pulling the computer out. Um, what I'm checking is these electrolytic capacitors here. There's this one here, which the 10 microfarad, 63 volt. These two are 47 microfarad. Those are uh, 25 volt. And what <clears throat> appears to happen is this one here. I don't know. If you try to get you can see it here. You can't. The electrolyte is all coming out the bottom, and this one is actually one leg is broke off. So it gives me a lot of confidence that at least this has something to do with it. I mean, it may not be the whole thing, but maybe getting those cap <coughs> caps replaced will help. There is a the thick, rubbery, uh, conformal coating on here that you'll have to kind of scrape out of the way and and even just burn it off with your uh, solder iron or I've, I've got a desoldering iron here that makes things a lot nicer in getting it apart. Um, if you need help finding the pads on the other side the best way to do it is you like uh, take this like a flashlight shine it up in there and then you can move your finger to right where the capacitor is and then you flip it over and there's your solder pads that you need to desolder. Uh, you do want to take note of the polarity when you take these out because if you put them in backwards they'll pop on you and then it could even possibly damage something else in your computer so you gotta make sure you do that. So I'm going to get started here, um, getting those swapped out. Alright, I got two of the cap <coughs> caps replaced. I got one desoldered. That's what it'll look like. If you can't get the solder all the way out of the hole, sometimes you can heat it up and just push the capacitor through. But it just takes a little more work. The other ones are in. Um, I'm going to put this last one in and then uh, put it back together, get it put back in the truck, and then see how it works out. You'll notice on the, uh, on the holes, the negative one is usually the round hole, and the positive is usually square. So you, you look at your uh, band on here and that's the negative one which is the short lead and then you just pop it in there like that and you can bend the leads over to keep it in place then you just Let the solder iron heat real good. You'll see it go down through the hole. Same thing on this side. I used to hope it goes down through the hole. One of them I had to flip it over and add a little bit on that side. I'll have to see here. Yeah, I'm going to put a dab on this side. Connections made, it's just being anal about it. And that side's good. It's really pretty easy. I think the capacitors cost me like 98 cents. Because at work we made a big order through DigiKey and I just kind of threw them in with the order so I didn't have to pay shipping or anything. But 
it's a cheaper way to start instead of just throwing parts at the thing. Because if those capacitors are out and they're not uh, functioning properly, it could throw your reference voltage off, which is what all the sensors um, work off of and the computer works off of. So if your reference voltage is off, everything's going to be off. So those little minor parts can really screw things up pretty good.